This video is going to be about the chain of infection for the coronavirus specifically. The infectious agent is the COVID-19 virus and its reservoir, what we can tell, is from bats, but it could also be from snakes or the cute little pangolin. The path of infection is most likely the respiratory and gastrointestinal tracts. There's been a few cases in which people have had diarrhea and the virus has been found in that fecal matter, so it can be transmitted through the gastrointestinal tracts as well. The CDC says that standard precaution, contact precaution, and airborne precautions are recommended for containing the spread of the coronavirus. So again, contact is when you can get it from touching somebody with it, and airborne means that you can get it from the little aerosols that come from the person's respiratory tract when they sneeze, cough, talk, anything like that. So it's really dangerous and really, really infectious. So you have to make sure to wear an N95 mask for airborne, and for contact, you have to wear gloves and a gown. The portal of entry, as we know, is the eyes, the nose, the mouth, any kind of mucous membrane, which is why they recommend you, along with wearing a mask, you need to wear goggles to protect your eyes. And then the susceptible host, it can be anyone, but most likely, people with their immune system compromised, the elderly or children. We do know that some pretty young, healthy people have died from this disease. So you really need to be careful and make sure that you, if you come in contact with this disease, wear a mask, wear goggles. Um, but then also I need to tell you that if you know for sure that you're not in contact with this disease, don't wear a mask because you want to make sure that the medical staff in the hospitals, like the nurses, the doctors, the rad techs, um, have what they need because too many people are out buying masks and we need to make sure that the medical professionals have it so that they don't get sick while they are actually in contact with the people who have the actual virus. So this is my chain of infection for the coronavirus. I hope you guys stay safe and healthy. Thank you for listening and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks!